Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Sim Airport. First off, I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on this series. I do apologize that there was such a big gap in between episodes. A lot of you guys know what happened last week with the power. I'm not going to go into detail again about that. But we are here. We're going to be doing some work. Now, last episode, we built our second gate here. And we're trying to just see, or at least last episode, I started to schedule some flights in there. I'm trying to see how the traffic is going to affect and if we can get everybody through the terminal. So we're going to be doing a bit of work on that today. Obviously, we expanded the terminal last episode and we haven't even finished it. I mean, there's the floor looks bare. It looks pretty bad right now. I would like to extend this out, but the foundation uh, for building is so expensive. So we need to kind of grind away and make some money here but let's go ahead and you know that queue looked really really full let's go ahead and expand that by a couple here maybe uh, about to there so what I want to look at first before we start actually building I need to look at our schedule because we need to be making more money than we are right now so schedule wise I was testing out a bit you can see a1 here and a2 here those are our two gates and you can see where I have the flight scheduled now, I feel like we can take on probably another morning flight. Looks like the uh, A2's got a, let's see, it's a CRJ900, 75 passengers there and 180 behind that. Actually, I want to move that over a little bit and maybe move this one back a little bit. And I feel like we can fit one more morning flight, so we need to find one there. What else do we need to find here? Actually, we've got some very large gaps here. Let's see, A2 has nothing after probably 4.15 p.m., so... What are these? 140, 180, 140, and 140. Let's move this one here. And then we're going to move... Probably we can get maybe one more night flight in. So we need one morning and one night flight. So let's go look at those real quick. Alright, I'm debating on how big of flights we should be taking right now. Let's see. We've got an afternoon here. Let's go with about a Ford Air. They have a morning. It's a 707. It's a fairly decent sized flight. Let's take on that, and I need to find a night flight. Let's see, Pacific Airlines. That's a night flight, and that's a, that's a fairly small flight. I feel like that might be our best option to take, just to test it out for now. So let's accept those, and let's go ahead and go back into our scheduling. Okay, so you can see, hmm. Did we take an afternoon? I thought we took a morning. Maybe we did take an afternoon. Seems strange, I don't remember these being stacked. Okay. Uh, we can make this work though. This is not bad. It's 180, 140, 19, 180. So let's go. Actually, that is a morning flight, isn't it? Okay, so it just stuffed it there at the end. I thought it was actually stuffed into the afternoon slot, but the mornings go apparently till one or actually two. So we can make this work. Let's go ahead and scoot this one over here. It's 180. So that's not going to overload the terminal right there. We got 180, 75 max, 180 here. And 180 here, that's going to be a fairly busy period between 8 a.m. and about 1 p.m. So that's going to be that's gonna be interesting to see if we can get that. That's the uh, one point of concern I have. But other than that, I think we're good on our schedule. So let's go ahead and see what type of money we're making now. Okay, as far as finances, we're making about 29000 a day. Uh, we do have 5000 taken out for interest charges on our bank loan. Uh, we need to eventually start to pay that back because that's not actually making our bank loan go down. That's an interest charge. So uh, that's a little concerning, but I feel like we can do quite a bit here. So let's go ahead and start building. Let's finish this terminal. This looks terrible. Uh, let's go ahead and expand here and down here. So they're going to go in and carpet that. This placement of the vending machines is kind of bothering me too. So let's go ahead dismantle this one we'll place a new one maybe maybe up here just place them all in a row so you've got four there we could probably go five to be honest with you let's go ahead and place five there so that's a lot of vending machines i eventually i do want to do one of the cafes but i've heard mixed reactions about those some people can get them to work but other people have reported that they're a little buggy right now so i'm a bit concerned until i have some disposable income like, I don't want to build one right now. But we've got that. I feel like we should probably have some more benches in here. So let's go ahead and go bench. And we're going to rotate those around. Actually, okay, those are setting like that. You know, realistically, I'd like to have them back to back, but that's going to block the uh, path a bit. So 
Let's just make another row right here. So we've got plenty of benches in here. It uh, looks like we can probably place some more along this wall here. So this is a vending machine. Let's sell that. Let's go back in, get some more benches. Uh, one thing that I'm going to need to do here, and I need to attract more flights in. Uh, there's a couple more upgrades that I've been looking at for the uh, runway, and there's a couple of objects that I'd eventually like to have. Like I like to have an air traffic control tower uh, because that will allow scheduling of more than 10 flights. I don't know if that's quite necessary yet. Maybe we need to push the uh, having the third gate before that. But that's something I've been thinking about. And there's a couple other things. Uh, we're covered as far as our hangers. We've got two baggage carts. Uh, that should be plenty there. But it's just a matter of actually getting some money. Now, another uh, key point that I've seen here. When we get busy, our ticketing is a bit slow. That whole process, like I feel like, can I not delete that? There's a ticketing desk here I'd like to get to, but the guests keep walking over it. Stop walking. Here, let's go ahead and pause this real quick. So yeah, there's a, a bit of an area here that I'm a little concerned with. Our ticketing, they don't seem to get them out quite fast enough. So I think we need to add some of the uh, kiosk up here for the people that just have a carry-on and want to get into security as fast as possible. But I do think we're going to need to add a ticketing line eventually. So let's go ahead and get a... Where do I want to stick these kiosks? I guess maybe up here. We're not really using all this baggage area, so maybe we can stick three more up here. I still really, really wish I could just pick up objects and move them. That's one thing I do not understand about this game, that you have to dismantle them. I think it's the same way in Prison Architect. Uh, you would dismantle them and then you can move them from there, I believe, but I really wish I could just pick up the object and drag it over. So, anyways... That's good to go there. We're going to fast forward some time here. We need to build up some money, but I feel like our terminal is in pretty decent shape, except for maybe our ticketing. I'll kind of show you what's going to happen here. Actually, let's look at our schedule. Where's our loaded point at? Uh, it's coming up, I believe, actually. No, we're a little beyond it. We're pretty good, actually, right now. I do think we're going to start cramming in even more flights. How many do we have so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10. You know what? We might be at our max. Maybe that air traffic control tower is really what we do need next. That way, maybe, even if it's small flights, if we can just cram some more flights in here, I, I would feel a little bit more comfortable. Uh, you can see here, wow, you know what? That first class line is actually quite, that's actually kind of full. All right, let's go ahead and expand that out. Oh, yeah. All right, so I'm seeing our, our issues here uh, with that, that, uh, one ticketing desk is a little full, a little bit fuller than I would like to see, but that is going to be for a, uh, yeah, that's only got 163, I think that one's max, I think the 707, you can get up to 250, or maybe it's 180 on that, so that was a pretty busy little period there, looks like they're getting their security, so, yeah, I'm going to keep monitoring this, I'm going to fast forward time real quick, we need to get around to where we can build that air traffic control tower, that way we can get some more flights into the terminal here. Okay, so I've been monitoring the airport for just a little bit. We do have the money now for the air traffic control tower, which we're going to invest in that. One thing I'm a bit concerned about, and I don't know how to make this situation any bit better. I've got four janitors on staff, which I figured that would probably be enough, but it seems like the airport's relatively dirty. And I do have garbage bins set up. I've got one here, two over here, one up there. I would think that I'd have plenty, but it seems like that is not the case at the moment. So that is a bit concerning that it got that dirty. Maybe it was just the uh, influx of traffic. But uh, other than that, I've seen, uh, or at least from what I've seen, everything's running pretty smooth. Uh, one thing I'm going to do, though, we're going to get rid of these, uh, these benches here. And we're, let's go ahead and dismantle those. And we're going to actually adjust this queue here in a second. Once we get that dead time overnight... This queue needs to be bigger and a little bit more organized, so we're going to change that, but to get in more flights, we need to go ahead and get that air traffic control tower in, so let's go ahead. Here it is. Uh, it's going to allow scheduling of more than 10 flights per day, so that's pretty good. Hmm, where do we want to stick this? I don't really know where an air traffic control tower normally is. I think it should be on this side, and then once we expand the taxiways and the runways up here, we'll be able to not have this in the way, I guess. So... I don't want to stick it actually right there because I picture that being where another gate's going to go. Maybe right here in between, something like maybe there. 
Uh, that will probably work. So that's good. That was a that's a lot of money that's gone right here. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and sell these uh these benches here. At least we get something back for them. And I've got to wait for this little dead time. We're gonna get it here in a second where there's no flights coming in. I'll redo that queue. Man, this terminal is absolutely messy. That is bugging me. I guess let's go ahead and hire one more uh, janitor. And if you guys know what might be happening there, it's not like. I mean, there's plenty of area out here. The garbage isn't exactly full. I guess maybe we could probably get another dumpster, even though they're not utilizing the dumpster down here, which is a little concerning. They've got this one full, but they're not using that one. Uh, that is, that kind of sucks, actually. So we've got that going. Uh, that's a little concerning, but they're cleaning it up now, but... Ugh. No, oh, that is gross. Okay, wait, no, I thought that was pee. No, that's actually just trash. Like, who just drops their trash right when they're using the bathroom? I, I don't understand that. Okay, I guess there's some things that we're not supposed to understand, so... Anyways, dead time is right now, so let's go ahead and pause the game. Let's go into our queuing system here, so now that we've had this area open up... Uh, we might redo both queues. Let's go ahead and redo both real quick. Let's go ahead and leave that one dot. I think it'll stay assigned. So, first class queue. Let's go ahead and extend you out to here. And don't want to do a zigzag? Maybe a zigzag pattern would be good. Let's go, let's go like this. There we go. One more and about right there. That might have given a little bit more room. It's really this queue here that I'm concerned with. So... Let's go out one here, and then we're going to make this just big zigzag line. And this should really improve this quite a bit. Can we go? We really can go one more. I think they walk through each other. If I were to cue this all the way down, I don't think that would be an issue. But just in case, let's go ahead and just drag it this way. There we go. So that cue is made. We still probably need to get another ticketing desk over here, but we're going to wait a little bit because that's going to... That's going to be an expansion, and expansions are expensive. Like, just to expand it out that much, it's going to be about thirty-five to 45000 depending on how far we go. So, we've got that, but we're going to be able to book more flights. Actually, that was built very, very quick. Okay, so we can technically book some more flights here. I'm looking for small flights. Uh, that's one thing I'm going to look for, because I'm a little afraid to accept anything else really big. So, what type of aircraft do we have here? Boeing, uh, 787, no. I'm just looking for small stuff. There's a CRJ-900. I think that's like a 75 capacity plane? Yeah, okay, we can accept that. Let's go ahead and we'll slot in one of those in the afternoon. Uh, let's go and look at our scheduling again. This is going to get tight. Uh, this is going to get really tight. So, we got a Ford Air 250. That needs its own big slot here. We've got a Beechcraft, which is only 19. I can actually stick that close to this, because they should be able to get that in. Uh, I've got a Boeing 707, 180 passengers. That's probably okay there. I've got 140 and a 75 here. So let's go with the 140. Actually, that's got to be in the, uh, looks like the evening there. So let's go ahead and correct our evening to, actually, that's our night slot. Let's see, we've got a 250, uh, let's see, 75, 140. 19 so our 250s are big boy that needs to go it's a 767 that's gonna go last let's go ahead and put a small one right here and I believe these two are actually okay beside each other actually let's move this one up oh, that can't be moved uh, let's move that one there and we'll move this one up probably to about right yeah this is a really tight slot here some of these slots actually overlap a bit, I think by an hour, so you have to kind of be careful where you go with these. So we've got those. I feel like we need another morning flight. If we can find a bit of a smaller one, that would be uh, ideal. Uh, let's see. It's a Ford Air carrying. Actually, let's just go through them real quick and just see. I'm just looking for a morning. I don't care whose airline it is. After further review, it seems like the only morning flights are really big flights. I don't know if that would work. Uh, that's going to be cutting it close. You know, that might work. Let's go ahead and scoot this. So we got 180 possible passengers arriving at 4 a.m. Then we've got 75 with the CRJ900. Maybe, just maybe, we can get away with sticking a big flight. Maybe on A2 right in this section here. Or we could go to A1. Maybe we'll stick this one down here. And then we'll go with a uh, big one up here. This is going to be cutting it a little bit close, but let's go and accept another morning flight here. 
And where did you go? Hold on. It has... Is this it over here? There it is. Okay, so let's stick you about right in this time slot. So, that is pretty... Uh, it's pretty packed. I feel like maybe we can fit in another flight somewhere else, but we're going to let this run and see what happens. Supposedly, we're going to be making about 37000 per day, which is about a, almost a 10000 a uh, dollar increase and this is all since we've added that air traffic control tower so that's good another thing I need to start doing is I need to do some more research I need to be able to set pricing for the uh, use of I think the runways and the terminal which that's a nine thousand dollar investment but that's gonna be well worth it and that's gonna take around 20 hours to complete so let's go ahead and do that so we're doing pretty good uh, doing really good actually Eventually, I want to get some more stuff down here. We need the road building uh, where we can actually, or maybe it's, uh, I think the road building, or maybe it's the multi-lane access. It might be this one where it'll make this a two-lane road here because sometimes they'll get stopped up and traffic will get backed up and that really starts to delay things. Uh, the main causes of that backup, as far as what I've seen, have been actually like the garbage truck. It'll stop and it takes them forever to unload everything. I'm still kind of curious as to why they're not really using the second dumpster and just dumping all the trash at one, or dumping all the bags out in the zone itself. So it's a little concerning. Anyways, our day has started here. I'm going to go and fast forward time and I'm just going to kind of monitor this again. Let's see if our scheduling works out. I'm really hoping it does, uh, but I'm a bit concerned. Are y'all okay? They are using the, uh, the queue there. I was a little concerned that they weren't. We're going to extend this other queue by a couple because there's a couple really big flights coming in. And that might be cutting it close over there. So, we've got that. I hope our ticketing counters don't melt down. I hope everything goes smoothly. This is going to be a big day for the airport and kind of the future of it and seeing how much we can make and how much we can get away with. So, hopefully this all doesn't get log jammed. Uh, the things that I could picture us adding next would be another ticketing desk out here to the second gate. Maybe expanding the terminal and then maybe even getting another ticket desk at the front and possibly more security. Okay, so still kind of monitoring how the terminal's working. Everything's doing pretty good. They're getting through security, I would say, in a reasonable time. Uh, they're getting into here. This is still a bit messy for me. Uh, maybe we need to add a couple more things. I haven't seen... Whoa, I didn't see how, how packed that line was. Well, that is pretty impressive. They're loading up. What is that? That's going to be a uh, 707 uh, with 120 passengers. Uh, I feel like we need to go ahead and get some more amenities and do a couple of things to the inside here. Uh, maybe add some bushes because everybody likes, uh, I guess, decorative bushes. Uh, do we have anything else that we can add? A lot of this stuff looks like it actually belongs outside. It's kind of weird. Uh, maybe we need to get some more of these flight information boards. Maybe another one over here informing people uh, where their flights are if they're delayed. And I want to get another electronics vending machine. I don't know exactly where to put it. We might start stacking some stuff up on this uh, on this wall down here. Maybe we'll go this. Hopefully that gets a little closer to the wall. It looks kind of odd right there. And we'll get a couple more food vending machines down here. So that should be a little bit more income. Those will eventually pay for themselves. Oh, as far as uh, decorations, I would like to maybe do some more things with the terminal. But I think what we're going to have to do now, we're going to have to start to just build up money. Uh, there's some more upgrades for the uh, runway itself. There's like a it's a runway, it's an ILS or an instrument landing system. It allows larger aircraft to conduct a precision instrument approach that kind of, uh, I think it makes it to where you can attract the quote-unquote big boy airlines. Or maybe that's an actual brand. Uh, maybe that's the top airlines. I think it might be referring more to like ex the biggest brands out there. And then there's a PAPI, which is another kind of thing that... Uh, we'll increase our safety. We're eventually going to upgrade these, but there's a lot of things that we need to do here. And it's just going to take some grinding away to get it done. But I do feel like we put ourselves in a, uh, a pretty decent spot here. Done some good upgrades. The only thing I'm waiting on right now, we're going to wait on the pricing, which is halfway done. And then we're probably going to have to uh, wrap this episode up here. So I'm going to fast forward time some more, kind of monitor the uh, terminal. You know what? This is a little bit of a dead space here. Let me check our schedule real quick. Yeah, we are right in this section here. We might be able to get another flight in. If I can find a small flight for an afternoon arrival, we've got a spot here from 3 p.m. to about 5 p.m. on A2. Uh, I guess we should go ahead and look into doing that real quick. We might as well go ahead and do it. 
That is an afternoon slot, or does that count as evening? I think that's an afternoon slot. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Afternoon, afternoon. Looking for a decent afternoon. I don't really care <laughs> which uh, airline it is, I just need an afternoon flight. There's a 707 down here. Uh, I don't know if I want to go quite that big. 707 might be a bit much. Uh, even for that spot, there's a 767. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely are... Yeah, no, no way. No way we're doing a 767. Maybe the 707 isn't such a bad option. Uh, let's see. Let's go... We'll go back up here. Let's go ahead and check a couple more of these. There's a 787 up here. That's a... That's a pretty big one. That's 300. We haven't accepted any that big yet, and we're going to hold off on those. Uh, there's a 737 here uh, from Atlantic International. I think we're going to take that real quick. Or we could take the 707. The 707, uh, that, might be, uh, that might be stretching it. Maybe we'll just go with the 737. So let's do that. And that should be right there. And that should be good. Our schedule is pretty well full. And that's going to bring our total to 41000 a day. So let's go and fast forward, and we're going to try to get to where that research is done. We'll check out the pricing options. Okay, so it looks like our research is done. Pricing is good to go. I think we are ready to uh, go ahead and check this out real quick. So I've got to be careful. Some airlines are cost sensitive, and I'm a little leery of changing this too much. So we're going to make baby steps. Let's go ahead and say, let's just charge 15 for our terminal usage. And then can we bump up one on here to 500 for our runway? Let's go ahead and save these real quick. And hopefully we don't see any repercussions from that. So let's go ahead and do that. And hopefully that doesn't bite us in the rear end. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do here, we're going to go ahead and hire a chief operations officer. This allows for more of those research uh, upgrades that we can do. And we've already got an office ready to go here, so they're going to get that. And that uh, that unlocks some more of the uh, options here, but it's going to take a little bit of money to get all that. So we're in pretty good shape. We're going to build up. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Sim Airport. If you have any ideas for the airport, comment below. Uh, any suggestions, any advice, I'm willing to take any and every advice because I'm still a bit new to the game, but I feel like we're heading in the right direction. And once we start to really start to make this money, like right now we're making 63,000, uh, we're going to be upgrading this terminal really soon and we're going to really start to expand here. I'm, I'm pretty excited for it. But anyways, thanks for all the support on the series. Hope you have a good day and we will see you guys next time on Sim Airport. Thank you.